Well, it's hard to believe, but 25 years ago, the public was only just gaining access to the World Wide Web. To mark the occasion and the issues surrounding digital storage, the State Library has entombed a USB in a time capsule in its foundations. And Alan Rascal was there. There have been many forms of storage through the digital age. Now, a humble USB stick containing a snapshot of Melbourne in 2016 has been locked away in the bowels of the State Library to be opened in 25 years. Will there be computers in 25 years? If there are computers, will there be USB ports? And if there are USB ports, will we have the software to be able to access the information? The stick contains images and audio, including everyday photos of present-day Melbourne. The world has changed a lot in 25 years, so what might a time capsule have looked like a quarter of a century ago? The world's first website would have only been online for two days. In the same year, Prime Minister Bob Hawke committed the Navy to the Gulf War. Fred Hollows was named Australian of the Year. The AFL was preparing for the 95th Grand Final to be played at Waverley Park, the last held outside of the MCG, before Let's Elope raced away with the Melbourne Cup. How do you think we coped 25 years ago without the web, without mobile phones? <laughs> I really don't know, honestly. <laughs> it's all I've ever known. We cope very well. We cope very well. There's been some time capsule success stories and failures, like in the US where they buried a brand new car and dug up a rusted wreck 50 years later. Also in the time capsule are a number of TV news bulletins, including Nine News. Now, I've been on telly for around 25 years, so if you think I look long in the tooth now, imagine what I might look like if I was still on camera in a quarter of a century. Alan Rascal, Nine News. Oh dear.